Hello and welcome to another episode of Anything Arduino. So on my 7 segment LED displays one of the most common questions I get is how do you work with the 4 digit 7 segment LED display. Uh, and that is what we're going to do today. So today I'm going to show you how to connect the uh, 4 of a, either a 4 digit LED, 7 segment LED display that is one difficult name to say uh, or uh, if you want if you have just four single ones like the ones back here how to connect four of these to become just like one of these so you can work with four digits instead and how you write code for that uh, so in this episode I'm going to show you how to just connect them directly like we did in episode 7 with one digit uh, and in the next episode I'll show you how to do this with the uh, 595 once again just using three pins to do all this but let's just dive right in and uh, show you how to hook it up first let's try to explain the difference in the pin out so this goes from this here is pin 1 to 6 and then 7 to 12 that's how the pins goes now this line here was A and then down the side B C D E F G so you will find the A on pin 11 a 11. B is on pin 7, C is on pin 4, pin 4, D is on pin 2, E is on pin 1, let's change color, E on pin 1, F on pin 10, G on pin if we want the decimal it is on pin 3 it's the dot let's just add the numbers for the for the different segments Now when we have these here, let's also add the pins for the one segment display. Now here is the big difference. On the on the four digit display we have four grounds. Sorry, that is the wrong word. The the common pin. So we have one common pin for each digit. So this is common one. So this is for this, we call this one. And then we have on pin nine, common two right we should write this is pin 12 and this is pin 9 common 2 so this is for this segment common 3 is on pin 8 and on pin 6 is common 4 now what this means is that when you light up the A, B, C, D, E, F, G and C1 and you connect them with either if it's a common anode or common cathode but you connect ground or voltage to C1 you will light up this uh, digit C2 you will light up this C3 this oh, I forgot to write 
this is 3, and this is 4. So you have the different ones, and then you will multiplex between the four common pins, and that way you will uh, light up the four LEDs. So what you can do, you can take the four uh, one digit segments over here and you will you would actually just connect all the A's to A like this A A A and then the same with B's and C's and all the way around and then instead you would Take this one as C1, and this ground pin as C2, this ground pin as C3, and this ground pin as C4. That ground again, sorry, common pin. And if you count this up, so here we have 12 pins, and here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then 5 common pin, or four common pins, so 9, 10, 11, 12. So this is what this looks like inside. So nothing more strange about it than that. So now let's just work with this one and hook it up to the Arduino. To connect this we are going to need 12 DuPont cables and I put it on a breadboard to get better connection for the cables. I also made a small sheet sheet here. So we're going to put, uh, connect pin uh, 2 on the Arduino to segment A and this is which pin on the LED segment it is. So pin 2 is going to go to pin 11. Arduino pin 3 to pin 7. Four to pin 4. Five to pin 2. Arduino pin 5 to pin 2 on this one. And remember you start in the lower left corner from 1 up to 6 and then you continue on the upper right corner going from 7 to 12. So pin 6 to pin 1. Pin 6 from Arduino to pin 1. And then pin 7 on the Arduino to pin 10. And finally of those pins Pin 8 on the Arduino to pin 5. There. So we have all the segment pins connected. And now we have four. Should have four more pins here, which are for the common pins for each digit. So common pin 1 is on number 12. So we are going to continue and put that on pin 9 on the Arduino and pin 9 on the LED seg uh, display is C2 put on pin 10 on the Arduino and pin 8 on the LED segment to pin 11 on the Arduino. This is a uh, common pin 3 for the third segment. And finally pin 6 there to pin 12 on the Arduino. Taking up a lot of pins on the Arduino, but it is now hooked up. 
as it should be and now we can start writing the code. So to give us a head start we are going to use the same code that we ended up doing in anything Arduino episode 7 where we used where we worked with a one digit seven segment LED display uh, so and we work with a common A node so uh, in that sketch we also added all the pins A through G to 2 to 8 so this is the same setup of the A through G pins as in the one uh, digit example so if you really want to know how to set up a or, or code to write uh, numbers to a seven segment LED display, then you should watch episode seven first before you watch this. Here we are just going to alter this code to a four digit seven segment LED display. Jeez, what a name. So what we're going to do just to show you that it is very similar, we are going to add the digit 1 pin, which was pin 9. We are also going to get this pin mode on digit 1 to an output. Now, because this is a common A node, we are going to, to get a 0 done we need the common pin to be high. I know this because a zero is all the numbers lit except the middle one, pin G, which is high. So then D1, digital right, D1 should also be high. Now let's see what happens when we upload this. So now we have a one of the four uh, digits counting from zero to nine. So what we just did was make this high and that happened. Okay. So now we need to add the four other, the three other digits. Once again, just to show you, oops, sorry about that, was a bit too fast. Just to show you what this does, so now we have all four uh, digit pins high. And as you might expect, all four digits are now counting from zero to nine. Now this isn't a very practical thing because you want the four digits to show different things. Uh, and now this is where we begin to have to multiplex and that's how I'm going to show you how to do now. So let's start by doing only digit one showing. Now I'm going to write a 0 on digit 1, a 1 on digit 2, and 0, 1, 2, 3. That's what I'm going to write on the four digits. So we begin with the first digit and write a 0. Now we're going to need a short delay. Let's try 10 milliseconds. And then we're going to write a 1. And we are going to write that on pin 2. So we make pin, uh, digit 2 high and the others low. Again, 10 milliseconds. That might be too much. We'll try that out. We need a bit of delay or else it will just be a blur. Uh, so that really isn't working, but just a few milliseconds will work. So we wrote the one there, and then we'll write a two, 
to digit 3. Now remember we can only write to one digit at a time. That's that's the trick here. And the final digit number 4. Should have a 3 on it. And the rest we are going to comment out. Don't need that. Right. So let's upload this again. Now we have it writing 0, 1, 2, 3, but with a lot of flickering, so 10 was a bit too much. Let's just pull it down to 1 millisecond, see if that is too much or too little. There. Now, not very much flickering, at least so I can see it. Um, and this is how you do it. 0, 1, 2, 3. By, of course, you can't just write these numbers all the time, but this is the method. So you write one number and then you change the digit and you write the next one and so on and so forth. Um, so this is the basic of basics of working with a four digit seven segment LED display. And this is how easy it is to work with four digits instead of just one. So hopefully you have gotten something out of this really rudimentary uh, explanation, but it's just to try to teach you how to work with for with this four digit LED display or just four single ones um, so hope you like this if you do press the like button subscribe if you haven't already and in the next episode we are going to do the same thing but with the 595 so using only three pins again we are going to uh, write four numbers using three pins on the Arduino so the 595 a really versatile chip that you can do a lot of fun stuff with so hope you watched that one and until next time take care bye